going to show you how to make this. Going to have to excuse the mess because I just got done making the muscadine jelly and jam. And I just did the video for that. So the kitchen countertop's still a mess. Dishes I had done. It's October the 4th. And I still haven't made the video, monthly ice cream video that was supposed to be updated, uploaded on October 1st. Everything's just kind of crazy. So anyways, what we are going to make is a couple weeks ago, I made elderberry jam. And I'm going to show you how to use that elderberry jam to make elderberry ice cream. Only but with a twist because with this recipe, it is my own recipe and it's a healthy high protein elderberry ice cream with chocolate. How is that? Chocolate and elderberry. Anyways, you're going to start out with five cups of water. Five cups of water. Then you're going to need one cup of powdered milk. One full cup of powdered milk. I Sometimes I use Nido. Sometimes I use Great Value. The Great Value is fat-free. The Nido isn't. One cup powdered milk. Next thing you're going to need is one cup of heavy cream. I'm fairly confident there is not a full cup here. But if you don't have a heavy cream, you can use either cream cheese or you could also use about a half a cup of Greek yogurt. I'm actually going to substitute cream cheese, not quite three ounces because I did have some. Now normally you would take and want to heat that up in the microwave, but I'm not going to because I got one of these handy dandy blender things that chops up anything. The next thing you're going to need is four scoops of protein powder. This is assuming that you are making two pints. So just whatever protein powder you prefer. Some kind of a chocolate protein powder. That's where you're going to get your protein from. So four scoops. One. Two. Three. Four. Next thing you're going to need is a cup of sugar. You could use a half to three quarters cup of honey, but I'm actually going to use it was actually slightly less than a cup. It's probably closer to three quarters of a cup of sugar. But if you want to substitute honey, which is healthier than plain granulated sugar, you want to use somewhere between a half and three quarters of a cup. You are also going to need three tablespoons of vanilla extract. Or you could use three vanilla beans. I like to use extract because I make ice cream all the time. It's just more convenient. All ice cream uses vanilla as a base. <laughs> Even chocolate ice cream uses vanilla as a base. And then the next thing you're going to need, you're going to need one cup of elderberry jelly or jam. This is my elderberry jam that I made. I'll link to the video on how I made this. I made this with a steam juicer. I also have elderberry that I'll use for topping that actually has the berries that was made from the berries and actually has the skin and the seeds in it. Now this is going to be kind of hard to do. Because I got to try to get a cup of this to pour out. It's in a pint. Anyways, about one cup. Let me tell you, this is some good stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to eat this ice cream roll. I'm not going to eat this ice cream roll. So once you have all that stuff done, now it's time. If you got one of these mixers, Go ahead and get her stirred up. If you got a hand mixer, just whatever method you got to get this stirred up, get it stirred up.
Now I know you're probably wondering why I mixed that up for so long. And it's because I can actually still see there's some stuff floating in the top. But I've also got that cream cheese in there and I want to make sure I get it all all mixed up good. So the next step depends on which kind of ice cream maker you have. If you've got something like a churn style, you'd basically just pour, pour it into the bowl and churn it like you normally would. I've got a creamy, so I basically fill up the pints and stick them in the freezer until it freezes overnight and then make ice cream the next day. So let me go ahead and get those pints ready. These are my two pints. You can see both of them. So we're going to fill these up. To the fill line. Put the lids on. And I got room for one more, it looks like. Uh-oh, might be two more. I ain't never seen anybody complain they got too much ice cream base. There we go. So, when I get this mixed up, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Just got done with my workout. You're going to have to excuse, I have the dishwasher running. I think it might be about to shut off though. This is what our ice cream looks like before we mix it up. This is the chocolate elderberry. This is a ninja creamy. If you've seen any of my other videos on this. I also have a churn style ice cream maker. But lately, I've grown very fond of the Ninja Creamy. Power it on. This is going to be really loud. I'll just tell you right now, I'll probably speed it up so you don't have to hear it. We'll go ahead and go to ice cream. There's our ice cream. Now I'm gonna finish this off. I am not so fancy that I'm gonna stick it in a bowl. I'm gonna eat it right out of this tub. But I do have some elderberry jam that I'm going to put on top of it. So we have chocolate elderberry ice cream with a little bit of elderberry jam. Pretty certain I lost that footage. Anyways, this is our chocolate elderberry ice cream. I added a little bit of elderberry jam to the top for some toppings. This is going to close it out because my battery's dead on the GoPro. Trust me, it is good, good, good. Absolutely good. <laughs> 